Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video about listening. Yes, listening. So let's go to James chapter 1, verse 19. Now, this might be one of those scriptures that is overlooked or misunderstood or kind of read wrong. So let's read it. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Right there. So when we read that, the first thing we go to after reading that is we go right to wrath. Because he follows up by saying, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. And then we overlook where it all started. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to what? Swift to hear. Right there. And so many people will miss this. And we ministers are the worst for it. i got to tell you, I'm probably one of the worst for it. I'm working on it. But we tend to talk when we should listen. Because you learn more by listening than you do talking. And when you're communicating with people, if you're all the time talking and over-talking, and well, you people get turned off by that. And then they don't want to talk to you anymore. See, I have this problem. I'm a teacher. I'm a preacher. I'm a minister. I mean, I do all these things for God. And people will say, how are you feeling today? And I get <laughs> for John, you know, in John chapter 4. And I just go on and on and on. And I think to myself, why do I do that? All I needed to say was, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. How are you today? And let them talk. And then while they're talking, let them come to a conclusion and then you talk. That's what communication is. So when we when we read verses like this, we see it says, be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. But we forget about the swift to hear and slow to speak. This is important because if you want to communicate, especially in the gospel, working in the gospel as I do, you got to just be quiet and listen sometimes. And definitely don't over talk somebody, interrupt them be learn how to communicate we all do we all need to be better at communicating and talking and allowing someone to talk so i'm telling on myself a little bit but also i hope that by me telling on myself will help you i'm a gabby box i mean i'm a chatty kathy when i get started and i don't mean to be but i just get run away so let's work on our communication skills so that we can edify the lord edify the church edify others and let them talk. As a counselor, I can tell you that when I am counseling, I talk, and then I just let them go on. And then I learn about what their needs by listening to them talk. If I could just practice that all the time, I guess I'd be a little better. So if I've over-talked you or I'm a chatty Kathy and, and I've bored you to death, I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. We all have uh, little isms and tisms, they say. That may, that's, I guess that's mine. So... That's my video today. I love you with all my heart. Stop back, like, subscribe, share this with somebody that's a chatty Kathy like I am. And we'll learn together and we'll laugh about it. And you can learn and have a good attitude about learning. And correction, it's okay. Talking too much. Over-talking people. Interrupting. Yeah, we all we got work to do. Love you. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Bye.